Today, I'm going to build something really exciting, a bike strobe light with a siren using a powerful IRFZ44N MOSFET. Imagine riding your bicycle at night and having a strobe light flashing along with a siren sound. It's not only cool, but also adds safety and visibility. Let's carefully create this step by step. First, I take the IRFZ44N MOSFET, which is a strong N-channel MOSFET commonly used for switching and amplification. To begin, I bend the source pin and the gate pin slightly so they can align properly for soldering. After bending, I apply a thin layer of solder on both pins. Next, I prepare two short copper wires. Copper wires are used because of their excellent conductivity. I solder one wire to the gate pin of the MOSFET and the other to the source pin. This gives me a simple and clean way to connect the next components without stressing the MOSFET pins directly. Now I take a seven color auto blinking LED. This LED cycles through different colors automatically creating a beautiful flashing effect. I solder its negative pin to the copper wire attached to the gate pin of the MOSFET and the positive pin to the copper wire connected to the source pin. This connection allows the LED to interact with the gate source voltage of the MOSFET. Once done, I trim all the extra pins to keep the setup neat. Moving on, I apply solder to the drain pin of the MOSFET. This is the main output pin that controls the load. To this drain pin, I solder the negative pin of the buzzer. The buzzer will produce the siren sound when activated. Next, I take a 2.2K ohm resistor. Resistors help control the current and protect components. I solder one end of the resistor to the positive pin of the buzzer and the other end to the gate pin of the MOSFET. This resistor ensures that the gate receives proper biasing and the buzzer gets the correct drive. Now I bring in a 12 volt LED. This LED is much brighter than the seven color auto LED and will act as the main strobe light. I solder its negative pin to the drain pin of the MOSFET and the positive pin to the positive pin of the buzzer. This way, both the LED and buzzer share the same power line. It's time for the power supply. I use a 12 volt battery. I solder the positive wire of the battery to the positive pin of the buzzer and the negative wire of the battery to the drain pin of the MOSFET. With this connection, our circuit is now complete. Now comes the exciting part, testing the circuit. As soon as I connect the 12 volt battery, the 12 volt LED starts blinking beautifully, producing a strobe light effect, while at the same time, the buzzer generates a siren sound. The flashing light and sound work together, making it perfect for a bike or bicycle accessory. The IRFZ44N MOSFET acts like an electronic switch. When voltage is applied to the gate pin through the blinking LED and resistor, it controls the current flowing between the drain and source. The 12 volt LED and buzzer connected at the drain are powered on and off rapidly, creating the strobe light and siren effect. The seven color LED not only adds a beautiful visual touch, but also helps control the MOSFET gate activity. You can use it on bicycles or motorbikes for safety lights and fun sirens, as a warning indicator on small DIY vehicles or toys, in DIY alarm systems where the buzzer acts as a siren and the LED as a strobe, for learning electronics as it demonstrates how a MOSFET can control both lights and sound together. 